Partial, this is partial. Partial y. Plus y. Plus y. So basically, first uh, you do a change of variable, and the change of variable depends on the coefficient of this term that I think uh, in PSD we we'll talk about. If, if the coefficient is a and b, then if this is coefficient a, this is b, then, uh, then one variable is just. Uh, yeah. If this is A, this is B, there are two variables that you can choose. So S is just A, X, plus B, Y. Okay. This, is, this is partial partial X, right? So this is the X term, so you just A times X, and then B times Y. And the other one is uh, uh, reverse the, the two coefficients and then choose the negative sign. So, and then that's V, uh, that's T. Equals to uh, T equals to B X minus A. Okay, so that's the that's the general case if you have a constant coefficient in front of the, the two partial derivative. So this particular equation, so A and B are all ones. So this is y. This will be X minus Y. Right. And so that's basically the change of variable in in partial derivatives. So what you do is uh, change a variable in the equation. Right? I think it should be straightforward if you are a little careful in doing partial derivative. You know, partial derivative uh, usually we just write like a partial partial one variable, right? And then uh, this is a, a simplified notation because uh, partial derivative means that you keep yeah, sub phi is a function of x and y. So when you do a derivative, this notation basically is saying that you keep y fixed. Likewise, this is keeping x fixed, right? Um, so, uh, so, but uh, usually, just to make the notation simple, not, not keeping all the subscript and all that. So some in many cases you just ignore it and assuming that you have this explicit uh, explicit uh, uh, meaning that uh, you keep whatever is fixed. Okay. And so if, when doing change of where we're positive, all you need to do is is so uh, be careful about that. So now changing a variable. So S is a S becomes a function x and y. T is function x and y also. So if you invert this relationship, then the x is a function S and T. Y is also function S and T. For this simple linear relation, you can actually write it out, write it out explicitly because you just you add the two, we cancel the y's, so x is one half of S plus T. And then y will be you subtract this from here. So we have y equals to one half of s minus t. Okay, so you can uh, for simple transformation you can do that quite easily. Now if you transform all this partial duty, the partial partial x. Now you just use the x becomes a function s and t, right? So finally you have a have a, uh, a positive derivative of of uh, s and t. So basically now you want the partial partial s. Right? To get that you you do a partial derivative of s and partial x because you are doing this x derivative, and then you. Also, you have you, you want a partial partial t now. You have a partial t partial x. Okay. Now the the what I said you need to be careful is that uh, this is 
partial partial x by giving y fix. So uh, well, after you change it, that this beauty is partial s partial x and keeping y fix. So, and because s is a function of x and y, so you can keep y fix and then uh, do the partial derivative. But this partial partial s is is now it's keeping t fix, right? And then this is keeping y. Again, keeping y fix is keeping s fix. Okay, then we need to be understand about what is the meaning of this positive. But uh, this you 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 can get this point up to this point. So, okay, this is like like the uh, the usual way how you change the uh, change of variable. It's like a what we call what kind of rule? Uh, is it uh, the change rule or something like this? The the rule of doing positive is right, and now. If, uh, for this one, you, know, you just use this and that to calculate this derivative. So that that's basically this one partial s partial x is just one, and partial so that is one partial partial s. And you can ignore this t if you are. Uh, you remember that notation is uh, what is this about, and then partial t partial x is uh, is partial one. So this is partial partial t. Okay, and now this one is uh, this is pick out this one, and you can do the same thing. Positive, positive. So after this, uh, it's pretty clear that you can you get positive s positive y, which is one, and then positive positive x, and then positive t positive y, which will be negative one minus. Okay, so, so all you need are uh, these two. Once you get this, you put it back to here, the equation. So this becomes a positive x plus a positive s. T. T. Phi plus that's positive t phi. Plus, yeah, and this x plus y becomes uh, just s. Um, so the equation is simple this way. So this is just s from five zero. Okay. Now the the reason for doing that is here here uh, in the next step because uh. Originally, you, you have both partial derivative, right? But after you do the change of variable, you see that this uh, this term positive five positive t cancel with this the other term positive five positive t, so you don't have this. So altogether, you have two positive five positive s plus s. Alright, so far so good, and uh, so. Again, uh, now originally you have two positive derivatives, but then uh, after the change variable, you only have one positive derivative with respect to s. Okay, so that becomes like an ODE, or those phi is still depends on two powers. So this is depends on s and t, right? And then, but the derivative only with respect to s. So you're solving the ODE uh, with respect to s. So t becomes like a parameter in, here, in this equation. So phi or the phi depends on t, but this you don't have a derivative with respect to t in the equation. And so this you can solve this. Uh, this looks simple because uh, it's just uh, a simple phi and, and s linear relationship. So uh, you can solve that. By like the separable problems of like positive phi divided by phi equals minus s ds. Uh, there's a two and you can divide it two here. So, and you integrate it. Uh, you can use the indefinite integral. This becomes log phi equals to minus. Uh, 
integrate that in s square, just s square, because uh, the table of derivative of the root. You integrate that, you, you get, uh, uh, wait. At s, you integrate that, you get s square, which is no, s square. So, wait. And this is indefinite integral, so you get the constant, the, whatever the constant is. Uh, but this constant, because you are extra parameter t, so it depends on t. Okay. And so uh, if you like, you can solve for phi. So phi will be uh, taking the exponential function of that. So that would be a some coefficient. Right? So e to the phi c t, which is like a coefficient here, and then e. So that's a coefficient that depends on t, and then multiplied by this s square over 4. OK, so that uh, that would be, uh, this is equation. No, this is, this will be the general function. This is like a function, whatever you call it. I think later on your textbook called f, right? So that uh, the dependence of t is arbitrary, so because c is arbitrary, so it was a right of f of t. So basically, you fix this exponential function, but uh, with uh, an arbitrary f. Is it, is it okay? But I think the last step, uh, I don't see a text to it, but uh, yeah, yeah, I did. The last step I always emphasize the student is I, I don't see, I, I graded some uh, over one, but not all. Uh, but anyways, uh, not all of you follow my suggestion. I always try to uh, suggest you to do that. So. Put it back to the original equation, so that required that uh, f. Why uh, I always erase that? So I think s is uh, x minus s. S is s is x plus y, so this is x minus y. And this is e minus x plus y over four. Right? You much better is just put it. Back to the equation, see who actually uh, solved the equation. Okay, like uh, this one, put into here. So, parcel, parcel, x, there are two terms. One is the f prime minus one, right? And then both were proportional to this one. The second is taking the unit over this one, so it would be minus x. x y square plus, when you take a division, you get a two, so that's divided by two, and multiply by f. Then you have the exponential function. Actually, every, every term will have the same exponential function, there, so later on, you, you cancel the exponential function. So that's this derivative. When you cut this back to b, you get this one. When you put this back into here, what you get is partial, partial y. So you're doing exactly the same thing, but uh, this f pi is with respect to the argument. But then you take the derivative, derivative with respect to y, you get a negative sign. So negative sign. Y. And then this one will be the same thing. This is the x, y. No, x plus, it's just, relatively easy, you get uh, two times the, you know, just the first power, not square. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
and then also the exponential function. And then pass this, uh, the first, the third term. And now you see that uh, this term cancel with this term. This term cancel with this term. Because this is plus, this is minus. And this one and this one both have negative sign and negative one half and then minus one half with minus one. Both are x plus y times f with x plus y times f and the exponential functions. So you all see it. It cancels you don't need to see it. Okay, so the last step is supposedly look it looks trivial, but there are this is your uh, last last chance to correct the error. If you make some anything wrong to calculate that correct it back if this is not correct and you won't get the confirmation. Although it's trivial, but the, that's kind of important. Okay, so this is called the characteristic uh, method. So the characteristic is this uh, this this value of this t the, the, the t equals a constant or so x minus y equals constant that gives you the characteristic. Okay, so um, um, that this. One way to solve the uh, possible is well, well, this so first order is uh, it's very simple. Okay, then what else? Uh, yeah, other, other question, other question about the homework. So uh, we are up to homework three, right? Is it when you look at that it's homework three? Where where does homework three stop? So um yeah, so you're you're reading up to positive positive okay, so uh we'll click it up and uh yeah. okay, so what else? We have still five minutes. Any any more questions? No, no, no questions. No, not yet. Uh -huh. yeah. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. So the working at is 9 to 1 right now. 9 to 1, okay. And I'm just, I just trying to make sure I understand how to choose the S and the T. And we have the, the general form AX plus EY in this case we have the general form AX plus EY. In this case we have an A1 still. Uh -huh. and two, two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then would our S be still? So, so it would become X, X plus 2Y. So it's always General form. So, uh, I think I mean, the textbook already gives you that. Uh, in the discussion of characteristics on page 404. So, assuming a general form in 9.1, right? And then uh, we give you the suggestion. I mean, everything is suggestion. So, S is 8x plus b y and T is bx minus b. And yeah. that's the goal the case that we... Yeah, for, for the form of 9.1, uh, if you try that, you, you simplify the form. So basically, this is just change of variable. If you forget about all this and you don't have the textbook, you just try some arbitrary coefficients, say R over X plus, say R over X plus uh, beta Y or something like that, arbitrary, arbitrary, Alpha and beta, and then say S is like that, and maybe 
T U will be something else. And T U will be gamma X plus delta Y, whatever that. This is just a linear change of variable. So the ultimate goal is whatever your equation after you do all the transformation, uh, I mean, change of variable thing that you did. Uh, and then you put back to the equation. So the, the idea is that uh, the original equation has two positive with respect to two variable. And that make it complicated, that makes it a, a PDE, right? So the idea is maybe you can find a change of variable so that you get rid of one, uh, one positive, say. You put it back to the original equation, and then you get rid of either positive positive S or positive positive T. That will, because you have four unknown parameters of, of your choice, you can choose whatever you want. And you just choose these such that one of them is uh, absent from the equation. So get rid of one of them, but get rid of this. Then this becomes a, effectively an ODE. Then you can use all the method you have. Solve the ODE, to solve your equation. And so that simplifies things. Whether this is possible or not uh, depends on exactly the form. So I think that in the homework, all the forms are nice so that uh, like a coefficient for the, the linear term will have a, a simple form. Like for this, it's just simple, simply S. But obviously not all equations is like that. So they might have more complicated function in here. And then whether you do a, do a transformation will give you a easier equation to solve that. Uh, that depends on the form of the thing. Okay, but but at least for doing this transformation, it get rid of one of the variable. Maybe then the the ODE from this way is easy to solve. That ODE, like I mentioned here, is an ODE, but you still remember you still have unknown the other and the other variable as a Parameter. Basically, it's an OD with a parameter. And so, um, then uh, when, you do, when you do that, you get some kind of unknown function or arbitrary function that depends on that parameter. So, it may not be as simple as that. It depends on the equation. It may be uh, more integrated in the function of S. And, but, uh, it's still just. Uh, a solution with a parameter. Okay. If it is possible, so so what I mean is that the, the suggestion by your textbook uh, gets uh, ax plus by as s and then t is uh, bx minus ay. It's just up. It's just you already solved this, and this is just one way to get which one. Okay, but that's not that's. I mean, that's not the only way. That's one way to do this. And just look at the formula. That will make sure that you get rich of, I think for this one, you get rich of, for, for your textbook, when you get rich of positive positive T, you, you will leave with a positive positive S. Okay. So. Okay.